Does your computer shut down at random and you don't know why? Well, mine does the same. And in this video, I wanna share with you what my steps are to find out what's wrong with my computer and what my steps are going to be in order to fix it. Roll the intro. How's it going everybody? You're watching Artventure Films. And in this video, I wanna give you a quick update on why I have been so slack lately in posting my videos. So what's been happening? Well, my computer has been shutting down at random since the start of the year. And I have done a few things in order to be at this step where I am at now. So I wanna share with you what I already checked on and I have no idea what it is or what it could be. But today, we wanna to try and find it out. Let's go! To start with, I thought it has something to do with the temperature on my CPU or GPU because most of the times, when you have random shutdowns, it's got something to do with the heat. So I replaced the thermal paste on my processor, but that didn't really help. I checked the overclocking on my computer too. Mine was actually on constant 2.4 gigahertz, even though it could go up to 3.7. But what I've done was to set it on auto. So it was auto automatically changing whether it's too hot, then it goes down with the processing power. And yeah, even when I've turned it down to 1.9. So even though the temperatures were low, I still had the random shutdown. So it couldn't really be the CPU. Another step that I've done in order to figure out if it was the software or not was to restore Windows. So I uninstalled Windows and installed it again and got rid of all my data on my hard drives so that it's all clean and a fresh start. I installed Premiere Pro and the last version of it and tried with both, but still it has been shutting down on me at random times. So it couldn't really be the software either of Adobe or Windows. That was my main thought anyway. Next up was the GPU. Almost every shutdown was when I was in Premiere Pro because that's the main thing I'm doing on my computer. And it wasn't only when I was exporting or rendering my videos, it was at random times during the edit. It was sometimes little things as clicking on the audio window or selecting the clip in the timeline. So those minor things got my computer to shut down. But other times I was able to force the shutdown on purpose. For example, when I put a video transition effect on a clip, which was only able to be played back when I had GPU acceleration on. When I found that out, my conclusion was it must be the graphics card. So I got a mite over who actually has a better graphics card than I have. And we changed my graphics card with his, started the computer up again, tried the same thing and it shut down again. It took a little bit longer, but still, I was able to force the shutdown and so we know it's not the graphics card, which is a good thing because graphics card are kind of expensive. But the bad thing is, what else could it be? My thoughts are it could either be the power supply or the main board. So first of all, and what we're going to do today is checking if the power supply is actually what's causing the shutdown. 24 hours later. When I was editing this morning, the computer still crashed on me even though I had the GPU acceleration turned off. I don't know if any one of you ever had this problem before, but it's so frustrating. You couldn't believe it. It's, I might as well do something about it because it can't go on forever like this. So we're just gonna jump down here and try to fix the computer. Far out, this camera is heavy. First of all, we're gonna take the cover off. So on the main board, you wanna be taking off the power supply here, right there, and this one here too. Fairly tight. This one is unplugged. This one is off too. That's it for the main board, I think. So next up is the graphics card. My power supply for the graphics card is right here. So we're gonna take this one off. One, two. Next up are the hard drives. So I'm gonna take you. So here we've got the two hard drives and as you can see, there's a power supply up here and one just down here. So here we've got the new power supply. I'm gonna unpack that first. Sweet. We're gonna start with connecting the main board again. So uh, the big fella goes up here. Ah, I think I got it. She's in. Yep. And now the other one. CPU is good to go. Mainboard. 
two. And now I'll need a couple of hard drives. Okay. One one's in. Okay, so last thing we have to plug in is the actual graphics card. And second one. Plug the main cord to the power supply, switch it on and see if she works. Yep, yeah, looking good. Display port. All right, so now I'm gonna open up Premiere and see if we can force a shutdown. Open project. We're gonna drag in the effect as we've done before. Go to effects, VR chroma leaks. The same thing as we've done before. Okay, so we're gonna play it back. See what it says. Requires GPU acceleration. Turn GPU acceleration on. Hopefully you can read it too. And That worked. Insane. Bullshit. Do it again, do it again. Do it again! Yeah! Sick! If it's actually the power supply, holy moly. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. What? <laughs> <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> holy shit. Jesus. Well, it, it works for now, but I'm gonna do a couple more tests to see if it actually... If it actually holds up to my previous tests in order to... I've done like weird tests in order to try if it... If I can force the shutdown, so we're gonna... I'm, we're just gonna do that again. So what I've done, not only like something like this... Oh, look at this. It's playing... Oh, what? Sick! <laughs> I can't believe this! I can't believe this! Holy shit! That is crazy! <laughs> I'm so happy right now. It does not crash on me! It does not crash! Ooh. I'm so pumped! I'm so keen! I have been frustrated. I have been frustrated with Premiere Pro with my computer I have done so many things to try and fix this problem and now that I know that it is the power supply it is such a relief I'm just I'm glad I'm so pumped to tell you this is over and to any one of you who has the same problem hopefully you can take one of those steps to find out where your problem is this has only been working out for me this way but I wanted to share it with you guys so Maybe you can get something out of it and get a couple of tips and tricks and see if it works for you. Maybe you maybe you might even start with the power supply. That was it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, make sure to leave a like or subscribe if you are really keen. Um, hopefully I could help someone fix their random shutdown problem and I will see you guys in the next week. Peace. See ya. Bye. See ya. See ya, mate. Bye. Bye. See ya. Peace.